What up? It's your boy NWP, and this is Pwn Hub. Basically, just some place that I play video games and do a bunch of crazy nonsense and talk about crazy shit. But before we get started with today, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to go hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about <coughs> Battle for Azeroth, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much. That's it. We're going to be talking about a little bit about battle and uh, with the changes that are coming. So if you would like this topic, hit that thumbs up at any time. And if you have anything to add uh, or basically just, you know, anything to say at all, go ahead and drop it in the box below. And uh, I'll be sure to check it out as I try to read every comment as they come in. Now, the, the big things th that are changing really have to do more with spells, abilities, you know, and new features than really, say, the sure. working core gameplay from Legion. The Mythic Plus dungeon system was pretty much a huge success and is going to be about the same going into Battle for Azeroth as far as for the f foreseeable future. As for uh, raiding, obviously still going to be doing that 20-man Mythic uh, kind of setup in the same, you know, situation as the end here. But... <coughs> We no longer have the mini progression system of our artifact weapons, which leads us to th was it either two or three pieces of gear that are now Azerite powered. And in a sense, they're similar but not identical to artifact weapons as they're much m less uh, impactful per piece than and a lot faster to level up per, you know, than, say, uh, any given artifact uh, weapon tier until the very end where you do those quests. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, however, uh, the PvP is having a huge overhaul with the just disabling PvP or enabling it on any yep. given realm, and that's how it works. Now, obviously, the war mode that they've talked about is going to give us a few f you know, additional perks for turning it on, like you get more experience for quests. <coughs> what? Yeah, let me bring that back. We get more experience for quests. And that's kind of weird, but I guess it's because you're in danger of being attacked by other people in war mode. However, at the same time, how do they expect to really like in if it's only going to be like a little bit of loss xp and it's you know really realistically it, it can't be that big or else it's just going to be like why not just have pvp on in general and let us level faster which makes no you know more sense in general than actually turning it off and having people opt in for bonuses that may or may not be vi worth sure. getting um obviously on clusters where the servers are dead and you're going to be in like almost no danger and you can just turn it on and go or if you're on a server like uh, you know Illidan that's dominated by Horde completely or say Stormrage is dominated by Alliance completely you don't really have anything to worry about while you're walking around the world the 35 Horde players are probably going to be scared to death to, to turn on war mode and if they do there's probably going to be more than enough alliance to just wipe them out on storm rage you see what i'm saying and same with illidan horde uh, it's just the imbalance of the game is so highly imbalanced that they would need to offer free um faction changes uh, they would need to offer a lot of free faction changes to balance out the entire um basically the entire game more than it's ever been balanced because it's always been imbalanced in a sense that any given server would typically have a higher population on one side or the other this brings up a whole thing where we're probably going to start seeing those you know server changes and faction changes actually appear in the free area so I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing the dev announcements probably a week before or a week after the Battle for Azeroth launch. Um, 
And that's just, you know, me guessing and just, you know what I mean? Like, don't take that as gospel or anything like that or fact. But it, it just seems like something that's going to be necessary because it, it is one of the more expensive services. It's not that, you know, nearly the most expensive, obviously, you know, the character boost being the most expensive. But in this regard, this is actually one of the more expensive services you can get without you know be it being a boost and to a you know say your oldest character so it is a rough 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 kind of situation to think about here in that we really don't know what's going on with this like if war mode's going to be, you know, like an actual thing to worry about, like, oh, is the XP worth it or is it not worth it? Basically, it, it is only going to really affect the launch of the game, in my opinion, in that way, unless they offer the balanced, um, you know, the balanced faction, where, let's say, you know, you can transfer from Horde on, uh, you know, Barthelis and to Alliance on uh, Illidan for free. Unless they do something like that, you're not going to see the servers balance out and give you something uh, that makes war mode even matter. On launch, there is going to be like those like you know 70 30 servers where you know it's like there actually is a, a strong enough um, faction uh, you know population on the to, like on the like smaller side to to want to attack people. And you know, have a little fun and actually survive with the amount of people that say are just completely avoiding it. So there are a few that on release are going to be big enough for that, but I just to me there's not enough for that to stay viable for very long. Shockwave. I think that <coughs> the removal of world PvP would be make more sense than giving people bonuses in this regard like that. So I don't it's just an awkward, awkward, awkward choice in my opinion. So why don't you guys? If you're hearing me talk about this right now, why don't you leave me a comment on what your feelings are about the new PvP situation in Battle for Azeroth. <coughs> and, uh, or, what do you think would be a really good idea to preserve um, the game other than this situation? Shockwave. What would be a great idea to you? But that's going to cut it for me, guys. So you can take the rest of the time to watch the rest of this dungeon and enjoy it. But this is all for me, so I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget I got a giveaway going on in the, in the description below for our, when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm trying to do big things this year on both Twitch and YouTube, and so far so good. But I can't do it without your help, so if you want to help out, do uh, whatever you can. Be it like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, like, watch and like some other videos or any of the thing in between thank you very much it helps way more than you even know and i appreciate you guys and love you guys so yeah enjoy the rest of this dungeon but i'm gonna get the hell out of here Charging me.
Yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. Four, three, two, one. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. Four, three, two, one. Yes, I'm coming.